Hi guys, hope you all are fine. Welcome to the Scientific Facts. Today I will brief you some of the atomic theories starting from the very uh, first one. Number one, ancient Greek beliefs. The first ever Greek beliefs or Greek theories about atomic structure or atomic particles were given by Leucippus and Democritus in the 5th century BC. And according to Democritus, out of the matter is made up of tiny units and he called those tiny units as atom. Moreover, according to Democritus and Leucippus, these tiny units are solid particles without any internal structure and they came in variety of shapes and sizes. Moreover, some intangible qualities of matter such as taste and colors are due to the presence of different shapes and sizes of these tiny structures to which they call as atoms. The second theory about atomic structures was given by an English chemist John Dalton in 1808. He made own Greek notions of atoms. He said that all of the matter is made up of tiny particles and those particles are called as atoms, same as that of Greek notion. All atoms of a given element are alike. For a single element, all of the atoms are alike and atoms of another element are alike. But atoms of two different elements are totally different, they are not alike. Moreover, he stated that Compounds are formed when two or more elements combine. The, the combining reaction of two different elements is a chemical reaction in which, which rearrangement of atoms occur only. But, but the structure of atoms of elements involved in that chemical reaction remains the same. Structure doesn't change. Only atomic rearrangement happens. An English physicist, Joseph J. Thompson discovered the electrons in 1897 and after the discovery of electrons he proposed a plum pudding model of atomic structure in 1904 according to his model atoms that made up of matter that made up some element they consist of a big positively charged sphere studded with negatively charged electrons like put in a plum pudding he also stated that charge on the positive sphere that is positive charge is equal to the charge on electrons that is negatively charged. A British physicist Ernest Rutherford overturned Thomson's model in 1911. He did so by doing a very well known cold foil experiment. He stated that atom has a tiny and very heavy nucleus. In his experiment, he used alpha particles emitted by radioactive element as prop to the unseen world of atomic structure. He said that if Thomson was correct, the beam would go straight to the cold foil. But in his cold foil experiment, most of the beams went through the foil, but a few were deflected. The part at which the beams were deflected is called as nucleus. He called it that nucleus because that part was very really heavy rigid structure. A Danish physicist Niels Bauer proposed a planetary model of atomic structure in 1913. He stated that electrons revolve around the nucleus that is positive by charge just as planet orbit the sun. This means that as Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Venus and other planets revolve around the sun in a solar system same as that electrons orbit around the nucleus and all of them possess constant energy. Uh, he further explained the different energy levels. Each of the energy level for electron has a fixed amount of energy. He said that when atoms grasp the energy from the environment or in some other way, the electrons of the atoms move into higher energy orbit. And this theory refers to as excised electrons. And when atoms leave the energy as electromagnetic radiations, electrons return back to their original energy orbit. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग स्टे ब्लेस्ड गुड बाय